it's Shanna P. Today we are going to do a collaboration video with other Beauty Bound Asia finalists. This collaboration is inspired by Game of Thrones and I will represent House Bolton. Show me some love by clicking the thumbs up button and if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, especially for Halloween, please write it down below. And please check out the videos of other Beauty Bound Asia finalists. I'm going to put it in the info card somewhere and in the description box down below. And yeah, should I say? If you were entertained or you learned something from this video or you just want to see this beautiful face again, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you decide to do this look on Halloween, please tag me on Instagram. Uh, the blood is dripping all over my dress, so let's just go ahead with the tutorial. Already did my foundation before doing my hair. I then gather the top section and teased it layer by layer. We want a full body tall lift, so make sure to tease to the roots. You will have a Lion King face, but that's okay. We are gonna glam that up later. Gather the hair at your temples and twist it downwards. Secure with bobby pin and do it on the other side. Gather and comb through the top section lightly and pin it down. And set it with hairspray. Also tame your unruly bangs with hairspray. Brushing your hair up lessens the problems with special effects application. On to the full face makeup. Get your favorite concealer to brighten the under eye area. We are gonna apply layers of concealer to highlight the cheekbone area. Include the center of your forehead, your nose line, and your chin. Apply some more on your highlight points and make your cheeks pop. Blend everything well and set it with powder. Light powder on the highlight points and the darker one on the perimeter of your face for some dimension. Once you're done setting everything, we're gonna proceed to contouring our cheekbones. Lately, I've been loving to start my contour a little bit higher from the temples down to the bottom of my cheeks. Define your jawline and your hairline. Here, I'm just using a bigger contour brush to blend everything well. And a finer fluffy brush to contour my nose. And this old rose blush for that villain-like cheekbones. Fake a strong facial feature by drawing high arch brows. Though I can't really bring my brows up there because they are naturally straight. Draw with light feathered strokes using your pencil and set that with ash brown powder. And clean the edges using a light concealer. Blend it well and we'll move on to the eyes. Prime the eyelids to make the colors more opaque. We are going to use red toned eyeshadow inspired by the flayed man on the banner. Get a matte red eyeshadow and apply that softly on the upper lid. Blend it slightly upward to elongate the shape of the eye. Drag that color along the lower lid. Pick up this rusty red pigment and put that on the outer V. Continue to pack that color on the lid and blend. Get a matte black powder and line your eye thickly. Also darken the lower lid. Smudge that black to the red to intensify the tone and also drag that along the eye socket. Next, pick up a gold champagne color and put that on your inner corner. Then tightline your upper and lower lash line using a black coal pencil. Once you are done, get a gel or a liquid eyeliner. I usually line my eyes thinly as close to the lash line before making any cat eye or shape. Make a short downward flick on the lower lash and a sharp upward flick on the upper lash line. Do the same thing on the other eye and here I'm just blending in the red powder along my nose line. Apply some dramatic lashes and curl them together with your natural ones and further bond them with a mascara. Just retouching my contour and making sure they're dark and next we'll proceed to the highlight. I use this nude matte lip pencil all over my lips and to add dimension, I darken the inner corner using a brown pencil. Please tell me you see the difference. Then we'll top that with this nude lipstick in Admirable. I just had to curl some random sections of hair to add more texture and volume. Now, Ramsay isn't exactly glamorous, but if there would be an iconic female character from House Bolton, I want her to look slay while flaying her enemies. Ramsay did something very very bad to Theon. 
But what is the worst thing you can do to a woman? How about peeling off her face? Okay, let's do that. Start by wiping away the foundation to make the prosthetics adhere better. Then outline the shape that you want using a white pencil. Next, get your glue stick, white glue, cotton and tissue, DIY nose putty, fake blood, and fake blood gel. Apply one layer of white glue on your forehead and tear small pieces of tissue and stick them one by one. Build the fake skin slowly by layering the tissue and glue. We want this skin to just hang so make sure that you don't stick it all the way on your forehead. While letting that dry, get an ample amount of glue stick and mash that on your plate. Then add a little bit of dark foundation to make it easier to blend with your own skin. Apply that neatly on your forehead while making sure that the thicker portion is towards the opening of the wound. You can continue this process all around your face but in my case, I just stopped at the cheek area. I wanted to have a smoother surface so I added one thin layer of cotton and then just set that with white glue. Next, we'll play with a softer material. This is a mix of flour, petroleum jelly, and foundation. Some people call this nose putty. Since we don't have spirit gum, we're gonna use the stick glue as an adhesive. Apply the roll of DIY scar wax onto the glue with a gentle pressure. This material is good because it's very moldable like clay and that is also the downside because it's very fragile and with a pinch you can easily deform it. I've discovered that it's very easy to blend onto the skin by using body oil. But since I'm using oil, I have to set it later on with powder. Adding my final cut, look how easy that is. Next, we'll blend that further using this cream paint and this small stippling brush. The size of the brush gives us control, and the stippling motion gives texture to the wax. Setting it with powder again, and just doing our final cuts. A little pinch here and a little pinch there to thin out the edge to make it look more like skin. And later on, we're gonna add white glue on the hollow area and stick some cotton inside to add a little bit of fleshy texture. And seal those layers of cotton again with white glue. Next, let's paint it red. The cut, I mean. I'm using this grease paint from Eye Magic, which is a known dupe for Makeup Forever Splash Palette. Once you've laid a plain red base, you can add a darker red randomly or dark brown or black on the inner ridges to give depth and random streaks of yellow for contrast and to signify the fat layer. Use the red that's left on the palette and dab it randomly onto your wound. Then I apply this DIY blood gel. I made this with gelatin, glycerin, and food color. And coffee too. Then to complete the look, add your fake blood. I also made this some same material with the blood gel but with a different ratio. If you'd like to know the recipe to my DIY SFX materials, comment down below. And this is the finished Game of Thrones House Bolton inspired look. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time.